Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. With an annual revenue exceeding 77 billion US dollars in 2024, Airbus has firmly established itself as one of the world's premier aircraft manufacturers. Founded in 1970, the European aerospace giant produces a broad spectrum of civil and military aviation products, including the renowned A320 family of twin-engine airliners and the A380, which holds the title of the largest passenger plane in the world. In 2025, Airbus further solidified its technological edge by introducing the A350XWB. Standing four extra wide body, this family of long range, wide body airliners is distinguished by its advanced fuselage and wing structures composed primarily of carbon fiber reinforced polymerware. When combined with enhanced aerodynamics and numerous other innovations, significantly boosts the aircraft's overall performance, particularly in terms of fuel efficiency and flight range. In parallel, the spacious wide body cabin is designed to offer superior comfort, accommodating up to 350 passengers with ease. As a multinational corporation, Airbus manufactures different components of the A350 across various European sites. These components are then transported to the company's main assembly facility in Toulouse, France. Here, the wings, landing gear, and engines are not only assembled, but each aircraft is also custom fitted with interiors and liveries tailored to the customer's specifications, ensuring alignment with their brand identity. Every detail, from seating configurations to in-flight entertainment systems, is evaluated to meet strict airline and passenger expectations. One of the critical milestones every new Airbus aircraft must undergo is known as static ground testing. This rigorous phase comprises two primary evaluations, mechanical load testing and pressurization testing, both designed to push the aircraft to its structural limits. During this process, the airframe is embedded with hundreds of sensors and strain gauges to closely monitor the behavior and resilience of various components under stress. Hydraulic jacks and actuators simulate real-world flight forces by applying calculated pressure to the wings, fuselage, and empennage. Static testing is a non-negotiable safety step, verifying design assumptions and ensuring airworthiness before any test flights can occur. In many cases, these ground evaluations become critical reference points in aviation history, influencing future aircraft designs and regulatory frameworks. Among these tests, the wing bend test stands out as particularly vital. It involves flexing the wings to extreme angles, far beyond what would typically occur in actual flight, in order to assess the material strength and elasticity. 
For pressurization testing, engineers simulate atmospheric conditions experienced during ascent, cruising altitude, and descent. Observing how the fuselage responds to changes in internal and external air pressure. The A350 was notably the first Airbus aircraft to undergo an entirely new regime of environmental validation. This extensive environmental testing was conducted at the U.S. Air Force's McKinley Climatic Laboratory in Florida. This renowned facility can mimic a broad range of environmental extremes, making it ideal for testing the A350 XWB. The aircraft was subjected to extreme temperatures from a searing 45 degrees Celsius to a freezing minus 40 degrees Celsius. This rigorous trial was pivotal in verifying the operational reliability of key onboard systems, including avionics, hydraulics, and environmental controls. Following this, Airbus conducted real-world cold weather trials in Iqaluit, Canada, where the aircraft was exposed to actual sub-zero conditions as low as minus 28 degrees Celsius. Not only was the aircraft itself evaluated, but the operational effectiveness of the ground crew, flight crew, and refueling systems were also tested under these frigid conditions. Tests also included scenarios involving snowstorms, wind shear, and runway icing to broaden the scope of weather-related performance metrics. These tests allowed engineers to assess the performance of the aircraft in uncontrolled, real-world winter climates offering insights not achievable in a lab setting. This holistic approach ensures the A350 can safely and reliably operate across diverse global climates. Despite these advanced validations, ongoing interventions are still necessary throughout the aircraft's operational life to maintain safety, especially during cold weather operations. Maintenance protocols must include detailed inspections of flight surfaces, sensors, and landing gear following exposure to icy or corrosive environments. Cold temperatures can cause dangerous ice buildup, which alters aerodynamics by decreasing lift and increasing drag. Ice accumulation on key surfaces like wings, ailerons, and elevators can compromise takeoff, in-flight handling, and landing performance. Hence, it is mandatory for all aircraft, regardless of age or design, to undergo regular deasing procedures whenever conditions demand. Deasing operations are typically performed close to departure times to ensure maximum effectiveness. The process involves spraying the aircraft with specially formulated heated fluids, usually propylene glycol or ethylene glycol mixed with water, to remove ice, snow, and frost. Airports often run simulations in advance of storms to allocate deasing equipment and personnel efficiently. There are generally two types of deacing fluids use one that eliminates existing accumulation and another that prevents new formation. 
Once the application is complete, ground personnel conduct a thorough inspection to ensure the aircraft is free of any residual contaminants. While ensuring aircraft readiness is paramount, maintaining the airport infrastructure is equally critical. Snow, slush, and ice on runways and taxiways can pose major hazards to takeoff and landing. To prevent such risks, airports around the globe deploy an arsenal of snow clearing and anti-icing technologies. Specialized snow plows and rotary brushers are used to physically remove snow from runways. Mechanical sweeping is often complemented by chemical treatments to create a layered defense against ice formation. Additionally, chemical agents like potassium acetate or calcium magnesium acetate are applied to delay or prevent ice formation. Some advanced airports go a step further by installing under-runway heating systems that activate during snowfall to keep surfaces ice-free. Meteorological teams constantly monitor conditions, and friction testers measure surface grip to ensure operational safety. While these procedures are routine in commercial aviation, military operations present a more demanding challenge. Military aircraft must remain mission ready regardless of environmental conditions, and operations cannot be delayed due to inclement weather. To this end, the United States and allied military forces invest heavily in comprehensive testing protocols. Fighter jets, in particular, are pushed to their engineering and performance limits. Before being inducted into service, these aircraft undergo a battery of trials including advanced wind tunnel testing. This provides critical aerodynamic data that engineers use to refine performance elements like lift, drag, and stability. Facilities like the Arnold Engineering Development Complex AEDC in Tennessee operate multiple propulsion wind tunnels to support this effort. These wind tunnels are equipped with high-resolution cameras and laser sensors to capture precise measurements of airflow behavior, helping engineers identify and correct even minor imperfections. Computational fluid dynamics CFD models are often validated against this tunnel data to improve the accuracy of future simulations. Wind tunnel testing is frequently supplemented by telemetry systems that track airflow velocity and turbulence patterns. A key test at AEDC is the store separation trial. In this setup, a scaled aircraft model is mounted upside down on a strut within the tunnel. Attached to this model is a simulated store, such as a missile or fuel tank, positioned on a mechanical sting. At the right moment, the sting moves to simulate in-flight separation. The resulting data informs engineers on safe release mechanisms and trajectory control. Once wind tunnel testing is complete and a prototype is finalized, full-scale production begins.
The F-35 Lightning II, one of the most advanced fighter jets ever developed, underwent years of testing before achieving initial operational capability IOC in 2016. The F-35B, variant which features short takeoff and vertical landing capability, faced environmental tests across the spectrum from a blistering 120 degrees Fahrenheit to a bone-chilling minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Simulated rain, humidity, and intense solar exposure helped verify the jet's resilience to diverse global climates. Among the most crucial evaluations is the weapon systems testing. The F-35A's internal GIU-22, a Gatling gun, housed within the left-wing route to preserve stealth, underwent repeated tests. Its ammunition feeding system, recoil absorption, and gas evacuation processes were meticulously evaluated for reliability and precision. The testing also assessed potential vibration effects on targeting accuracy and stealth performance. The gun doors open only during firing sequences, accompanied by vent doors that safely expel residual gun gases. These tests began on the ground and transitioned to in-flight scenarios to validate functionality under actual mission conditions. Though most modern jets have endured rigorous testing, the F-35 Lightning II is widely regarded as the most thoroughly validated combat aircraft of its generation. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.